This short video will discuss the use of groups in D2L. Instructors may place students in D2L groups to facilitate small group discussions or projects. Instructors can also create specific drop boxes and discussion boards for each group. You can see whether or not you have groups in your course by visiting Groups under the Collaborations menu. In this example, I can see that I am in Group 1. I can view the members of my group by clicking on the number in the Members column. These are the two students currently in my group. I can also see on this screen that my instructor has set up a group drop box, a group discussion topic, and a group locker. The group drop boxes and discussion topics work just like regular drop boxes and discussion topics in D2L. However, you can only view, submit, and post to drop boxes and discussions for your group. The rest of the class can't see your work. You can think of the group locker as an online drive where everyone in your group can upload, create, and share documents. This can be very helpful if you are working on a project together. I also have a link here on this screen where I can email everyone in my group at once. Together, these are the tools my group can use to communicate and collaborate. In addition to the groups area, I can also access my group Dropbox and discussion board via the Dropbox and discussion tools themselves. Here it says Group 1 Group Dropbox. Even though they appear in the regular Dropbox and discussion area, these tools are specific to my group. If I scroll down here, I can see the Group 1 discussion topic. If you have groups set up in your course but no access to a group Dropbox, discussion board, or locker, you can always ask your instructor to set up these options for you. If you have any other questions about the use of groups in your course, ask your instructor.